Wow. Whoa. Wow. Oh, Jesus Christ. Anthony, hang on. Get Jesse in. I keep Mate. saying, come and get Jesse, Jesse. in. Dude, that, a sec. He, could make, he could make a Netflix series of that stuff. That was unreal. That was unreal. You could make a Netflix series. That was crazy. And wow. Honestly, wow. Do you know, when you said, do you know said, what? Do you think I thought you were going to say about between 50 and 70, 65%? Mate, yeah. Oh, here he is. Oh, you all right? <laughs> Jesse, let me have a look at you, little weasel. What are you doing? Are you behaving? Those are your muscles. Are you on pace as well? Blood oh, testing, Crawler, blood yeah, testing. Sorry. <laughs> get in front of your dad, I can't see you. Let's have a look at them cannons. That's it, get the guns up again. No, you can't oh, see you. Get you get in, let's have a look. He's, he, he got some of the two free files in the tablets. Yeah. How do you lose 3,000? Like, what's that? How do you lose 3,000? So, sorry, say that again. Does any, how does a government body lose 3,000? It's mad. Listen, do you know what that is? It's like police seizing an arms dealer or a bank yeah. robber. Losing Making a few pounds of bullets and then saying oh, to police, oh, yeah, we've lost them. Do, do, you know what, do you know what was scary then as well? Like when he was he was saying just how blatant, like I was like, Addy, when I watched it, go, ooh, say a name, say a yeah. name. But you couldn't. I you couldn't that. Don't, don't, yeah. don't. But I, I don't know. He would have been. Yeah, you, could have, yeah. put, listen, you could put two and two together. You could put two and two together, couldn't you, with certain with certain ones, you know, being honest. I can't. It's uh, one second, mate. You're gonna go in there. I'll come in and see you shortly, yeah? So, I, say bye I, to the When you see you later, you go on be <laughs> When you when you we listen to stuff on from anti doping, whether it's Britain or America and boxing and clean boxing programmes and everybody saying it's cleaner, cleaner, cleaner. Yeah. After listening to after listening, we'll start with you, Anne. After listening to Larry there, what do you think now when you... Because well, my head's going to be spinning later when I get in bed. Yeah, all, all night, I know I will be. And, um, and, and listen, people that have the argument going, oh, well, Larry's going to say that. But no, I, I believe there's a lot of truth. I believe there's so much yeah, truth. Genuine, to what you say. genuine. He's got he's got no reason to lie. I mean, if he's... And I know you're saying, oh, we're taking your word for it, but... He's not bitter. He'll still go in the gym a few times a week. You know, he's happy acting. And, he's, and he don't get his... Addy mentioned it to him. He's fought on both sides. He's fought in the the, uh, the opponent's corner. And he's fought in the prospect's corner. So he's seen a lot in... I know he might, might have not had loads of fights, but he's seen a lot in the sport and how it works, how they get treated. And he's just like... And he's also... You've got to appreciate the honesty in him. When he basically said... Well, if I'd done it, if, if it was to start again, yeah, I'd do the exact same again. I'd, I'd cheat again. He yeah. basically said that. Do you know what I mean? And I think that, I don't mean you've got to respect the cheating, but I mean, I think you've got to respect the honesty mm. of the guy. And um, it's, it's like to say it would be interesting. I know like, like some guys really clued up supplement wise, and they'll look at certain fighters and they'll say, I think he's on blah, 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 blah. And that's that's the, the scary thing. It's like it's not just one, it's not just one drug. Do you know what I mean? It's there's so many different these designer drugs that you can't be tested for. And it's just uh, listen, we all love boxing. We all love boxing, but it's horrible to think at that top level, you really don't know who's 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 doping, who's juicing, and who's not. Yeah, we that, saw, that's a hard. Would you, would you bet your mortgage? On somebody being on anyone being clean other than yourself, you can back yourself, can't you? But outside of that, it's so you difficult. What do, you, what do you think, Nada? You were, from a from a, a journalist in a fan's perspective to have heard that like that from somebody who's been banging middle of it. What did has it left you thinking on that? Scary, scary for a number of reasons. I think the first reason was like when he said he's been doing it from the get go. Yeah. So when I asked him, I thought he might say, oh, fifth or sixth fight. It was like, no, as soon as he yeah, entered, from the get -go. he started doing it. And yeah. then I honestly thought there was like a strength and conditioning person behind him. It was like, no, I've just ordered the stuff from China and I've yeah. been doing it myself. And I'm like, fuck, if you're doing that yourself, what's these top strength that, and conditioning exactly coaches? That, yeah. What do they do? It's just Let's that, be honest. crazy. Who's, 
there's certain strength and conditioners who you see fighters go with and alarm bells ring straight away. You know, you yeah. can't see it, but you, you see a dramatic improvement or when those fighters stop working with those strength and conditioners, there's a decline. Yeah. And it's, listen, you, you know, we <laughs> you got to be careful what you say here, but it's suspicious. <laughs> massive suspicion. Yeah. Do you not think there's a sense of self-justification when you're saying, well, I'm going to cheat because I think everyone else is cheating? Does that not just self-perpetuate a vicious cycle? Whereas even if somebody were, that's, you know what I mean? If you're just saying, well, everybody's doing it, so I'm going to. And you're not, you can't, look, nobody can be one million percent unless you've sold them something, seen them take it or whatever. Do you know what I mean, Addy? Is it an easy excuse to say, well, I think everybody's doing it, so that's I, why I'm it. it. It's easy, but, you know, this sport's dangerous enough, isn't it? I mean, yeah. this is the problem. That's what I was trying to ask him the question about, does it not feel like coming into the ring with a loaded gun? And yeah. I get the answer, but for me, I look at this sport. I don't look at it like athletics and tennis and football. Yeah. This is a super Someone could get seriously hurt. Sport. Yeah. I, I've it's always the been business. one of the ones to say, if you fail the drugs test and something happened to your opponent, you know, a life-changing injury or, or the worst, being death, then I've always said, you know, I, I believe you should be on an attempted murder charge. Do you know, I, that's yeah. I feel that strong about it. Um, but I, listen, I get Larry's point. Is a lot of injuries I've done in the build-up. You know, I've, I've been in, in, unfortunate to be in a fight where, you know, where, where the fighter took very ill and life-changing injuries and he could never box again. And he says, like, we're friends now, me and Kieran, and um, he'll say, you know, the build-up was doing it, making weight, the sparring, the hard sparring while making the weight. And that sort of sort of get that. I do get that in Larry's point. However, I think if you go if you go into that fight and you're you're full of performance enhancing drugs, and something goes wrong, you've you've got something to answer. You've got a lot to answer for. Yeah. And he also mentioned, didn't he? He said um, the reason he started taking them was because he didn't want to come to a gunfight with a knife. Yeah. He openly yeah. admitted. Like, you know, I'm coming to the ring with a gun. Yeah. I, I believe every single person he fought was also taking drugs. I, 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 I mean, I don't believe that. Not at that level. Yeah. But coming in there um, with a gun to a knife fight, really. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, that's the point. Very honest, but... Very honest. It, it's still cheating, isn't it? Do you know, oh, yeah. Without, yeah, it's cheating. Then, yeah, look, he's it. Yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, I respect the fact he admits it. You know what? Another interesting point for me was, and that's why I was saying about telltale signs and and sort of and I, I know myself like sort of on the EPO and stuff like that. You look at you look at Larry when he fought and you know the size and stuff and he was suspicious. You know we had you know a lot of the telltale signs. Yeah. But the fighters out there who might not be body beautiful. He mentioned James Toner. Yeah. And, but they'll be taking the performance enhancing drugs. Like the EPO, there's other there's other steroids to do it. So yeah. it's one of them. The worrying thing is you don't know who's on it and who's not. Yeah, I guess we, the worrying thing as well. That, I think sorry, Eddie. Maybe that leads to that thing where you just assume everybody is. So that yeah. gives you education to do it because you, yeah. you can't tell by looking at someone. Yeah. I guess uh, another worrying thing is obviously we're talking about the professional ranks. I mean, we've not even touched on the amateurs. Yeah, where we're pretty much a gold medal in the amateurs guarantees you success or a, well, a that, success in that's the. That's it. Yeah, if you get an, a lot of the times, it's I'm not saying all the time, but you get an Olympic gold medal, it's almost having like a million dollar ticket. Yeah, and it's almost like that. You know, it's life changing for you, isn't it? So yeah, yeah, that's that's another thing, and it's horrible that we we're asking these questions about the sport, but it's the harsh reality. It's, I think uh, it's, it's I think it's too many people in boxing who are just too happy to... Pre Look, I don't like that it happens, and I don't think we should glorify that it happens, which yeah. we're not doing. But pretending it's not happening because it suits a narrative to pretend it's not happening, to me, is yeah. tough. Yeah. It's criminal to ignore it. That's just... Yeah. just doesn't sit with me. But, I, yeah. I mean, I agreed with him on that. That's one thing. Although I thought when he said up to 50%, when I said... What difference does it make in your performance? Because all this, you'll see some cycling teams going, oh, we don't dope. We yeah. do this, 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 and this. And it makes up the 4% difference in doping. And my argument to that is if, and if me and you were as strong as each other and could yeah. bench press, exactly, we could both bench press 100 pounds, but you started taking a load of gear and I didn't, 
you'd yeah. be lifting more than 105 pound. Of course, of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. without yeah. a doubt, without a doubt. 250 or whatever. So I believe I believe it is a minimum of 10, 15, it 20 percent. Yeah. Yeah. EPO and it were like 50 percent. Yeah. Then what chance have you got if you're doing it clean? Yeah. What true. chance if and, you're doing it clean at a good level? What chance have you got? Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Also, with Larry as well, I mean, obviously, we've all watched Larry's fights. Larry was a decent fighter. I think he would admit that. Um, could he have gone to world level? I, I doubt it. He was a very decent fighter. Can you imagine the very elite fighters then adding the EPO, the HGH, the Eurodot on top of that eliteness? And, and, that, and that's what some weapon. of them are doing it. And that's what some of them are doing, like, without, without a doubt. Crazy. Well, it's, it's given us something to think about. We're interested in mentioned Angel because hopefully we're going to have him on in a couple of days. Angel, well, yeah. it'll be interesting to see what, what he can add to it. But it, yeah. it's something to think about, chaps, isn't it? It really is. It really is. That was fascinating. Honestly, that's a Netflix series right there. Wow. I told you. Yeah, I could have I could have spoke on that. I felt bad because of how long we was on. But I yeah. Like, oh, there were so many questions where, you know what, I have wanted to go. See? Stop recording and so we can yeah. not then go like who's this, who's that? <laughs> I knew I knew with certain things, listen, with a wild card, we can get there were certain things where you thought we know exactly what you're on about here. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I think that would tell him where he said if he'd not been so maybe look, maybe it were a bit of arrogance and ego that he didn't take. Yes, it. possibly, yeah. Yeah, but I wouldn't have got hey, caught. I'd have been switched on. I'd have still not been caught to this day. That's yeah. scary. Because yeah. you're talking a one-man team here, not no, not a twelve-man team behind him. A one-man team saying if he was switched on, he wouldn't have been caught. Cool. That's yeah. that's scary. So that makes you wonder, doesn't it? Well, he might be getting phone calls from people saying, "Help me out." He's a chemist, isn't he? Yeah, he, you just don't yeah, you don't know. But we'll wrap that. We'll wrap that up for tonight, chaps. Yeah, million dollar as always. You looked at yes, me, you bastard. Well done. Well, <laughs> great night. It was great yeah, night, gents. I enjoyed that. So much. Uh, a great we'll chat you you, mate. Take care. Take care. Hope you enjoyed Blackout Barber Show. Please like and subscribe. And uh, if you've got any complaints, remember my name's Richard Potson. Just saying. And that's Johnny Nelson. <laughs>